Hello everyone. In the previous video we have discussed about the post and the other pages creation with menu and sub menu. Let me make one thing clear here that any website or any application will not become beautiful or important or informative unless or until it is supported with add-on features. WordPress also has a very unique features to integrate the different plugins into it and you will be happy to know that there are thousands of applications, thousands of plugins or thousands of templates are freely available on internet which can be downloaded and can be integrated with WordPress. Some of them are like TinyMC, it is a universal editor which helps you to the organize the content in WIS, IWIG editor with many more advanced features. There are some other plugins, very known plugins like social media, YouTube, video, organizer, image, slideshow, RSS feed scroller, Twitter and many more. So in this video we are going to discuss that how we can download the plugin, how we can integrate the plugin to any WordPress website. So let's get started and see how we can do this. To add the plugin in WordPress website, first we need to know what plugin we are going to integrate with WordPress and also we need to see the effectiveness of that plugin. So I have downloaded some of the plugin as a ready made plugin to use it. So let us go and see how we can use it. So some of the plugin I have downloaded and uh, kept. So the first plugin I am going to show you is the editor. The editor as in the beginning we have seen while creating the post we got very less options to format the content. So we will install first plugin that is the editor. Let us click on add new and then it will open the page where we need to upload the plugin but before that you need to download the plugin how to download you can simply go to the plugin directory and there you can search or in the WordPress itself there are there is an option to find the plugin and you can install directly from uh, being in the WordPress itself so since I have already downloaded so I'll, I'll just click on upload plugin and it will ask me to locate the plugin uh, uh, place. So I'll just select my plugin which I need to install. Okay so I'll take tiny MC advanced. So this plugin I'm going to install. So just I'll click here and uh, my plugin is getting installed so it may take some time depending on the speed of the internet and uh, the system as well so once it is installed it will show you and also it will ask you to enable the plugin because any plugin which is installed need to be enabled then only it will work else it will not work and stop functioning so you can see here it is installed now i need to activate it okay so i am getting some error an unexpected error occurred something may be wrong with wordpress.org of this server configuration if you continue to have problem please try support forum okay so just click on activate plugin and then this plugin will get activated and uh, the effect we can see when we create any content so you will get more options let us go and see what effect it has made 
so I'll just go and create one post add new and uh, if there is no error or if it is successfully installed then I will be getting the effect of my installed plugin I need to wait it is taking little time but okay yes uh, yeah it has successfully installed and now you can see I got many more option to format my content you can see here it is enabled with more options and I can add as many as uh, means uh, with uh, more options I want to say so this is the one advantage of having and likewise there are other plugins also we can have a look some of them are by default which comes with the system itself so this plugin I installed and there is update available for this so you can update so it will if there is any change in the plugin it will get updated in your system as well okay so this was the uh, one plugin which we activated now let us go and see the some other plugins which are very important so the next plugin I am going to show you is that the widget count how many users visit your website or your blog if you want to know then you need to install that so for that there is a separate plugin and that is called hit counter so let us go and see okay so let us go to add one more plugin here and uh, we will see the number of counts hit by users when they visit the page so I'll just click on upload plugin and I locate my plugin uh, hit counter and click on install okay so this will get installed and we will see the effect on the page of our blog but before that we need to update this uh, uh, enable this we need to activate this plugin then only it will take effect on the page okay so I'm going to add another plugin uh, that is for vertical is RSS scroll and uh, that will fetch the information and scroll the feed one after another so we need to install that plugin so the name of plugin is vertical RSS feed aggregator so let us install this just click on add new and we will uh, have to locate the plugin where it is kept I'll just click on upload and then I bring down my page and I find it here vertically scroll RSS feed and then I'll click on OK and then install now so OK I activate this plugin and uh, it will get installed once it is installed you can locate it here that it is installed and active also there is update for this so you can update also and now we need to add the RSS so for that you have to find the RSS feed first so how to find the RSS feed there are many ways for example you want to add the feed of news or you want to add the feed of any website for example I also have developed one website dp3party.in so let me open this uh, page and uh, suppose uh, I have also feed of my web page so someone wants to add uh, my feed into their page so what the, how they can add first they have to get the feed of my website and there they can locate the means they can find the information you can see here this is my blog I also means I have used the same the theme which uh, we are discussing right now and this is the widget counter which uh, I have used for counting the number 
so the same way it can also be applied and uh, let us see that okay so my feed is that dptparty.in slash feed and I copy this and go back here and uh, first I need to see where I have to keep the feed so generally it is in the widget and uh, first I'll go to plugin uh, appearance and uh, I'll find out the widget this widget and I'll click on this it will open the widget in uh, means window where I can place my installed plugin into the sidebar okay now I have to locate where is my yeah this is RSS and I scroll RSS feed which I installed just now so what I'm going to do that I'll just simply select this and I'll scroll it and bring it on the top of uh, sidebar the first one search bar and then below that I just drop it so it is asking me to uh, provide the feed which I have copied just I'll just paste here and the title I'll give it as a dp3 party and the rest of the things I can customize later also and now I'll just click on save and then I go and uh, refresh my page okay let me refresh my page so it will show the website RSS feed of my website and information scrolling at the right side yes you can see here that the top of that the search box is there and below that the RSS feed and then after all the sidebar widgets are functional so the RSS feed can be enabled and can be used for getting the feed on the website wherever you wish to have let me go back and uh, see some other uh, uh, the widget yes okay so there are some more widgets uh, I would like to discuss one by one but not now we'll discuss uh, when we start the adding content to the pages then we'll come back to this page again I'm going back to the plugin and uh, let us install some more plugin and see what else we can do okay I'm I'm just going to add one more uh, plugin that is the online chatting so I will locate my plugin first and uh, then uh, I'll install that that is called Tido Tido live chat and then open and then install so it may take some time depending on the speed of your computer okay it is installed now I click on activate plugin so this will get activated and uh, will be available for live chat yes it is TDO chat is installed and there is an update available for this also so I just click on update so this will also get updated after installing this plugin you, you can observe that there is a separate button enabled here we will see once it is updated what it is and how we can configure the chat and uh, we can discuss with the users uh, over the website okay so now I click on TDO chat yes okay so here it is asking that hello it's a great that you have installed TDO chat yes I have an account with TDO no I do not have an account with TDO so right now I do not have so integrate with your website I just click on this and I need to wait for some time because it will connect to the the page and then it is directing me to go to the panel 
okay so it has uh, directed me to the TDO chat page and then I select any one of them and uh, accordingly I can say hello to new visitors yes continue okay so you can provide here your name you can provide your local host or means your website address or uh, which industry you belong to for example education which country you belong to so you can give your country name for example I give DP and uh, then I give my website name DP Triparty dot in and then continue so what will happen it will connect to the people around the world and allow you to uh, chat with those people okay DP basic account yes so now when uh, you go and refresh your page so Uh, it will show you the chat page and also it will show the chat information here uh, once again you refresh the page so you can uh, means any user who comes on your website will get an opportunity or uh, option to chat with you and uh, at the back end you can chat from here uh, means there is a separate admin panel and uh, who is chatting with you it will show here in the left panel and uh, there are so many things if it does not show here when you start the page so what you need to do uh, just let me close this you just go here TDO chat and better you create one account of your own and then you integrate the TDO chat with uh, the WordPress website which you have developed sometimes it may be slow because the server is kept some other place and if your internet speed is not good enough to connect then it may take some time but uh, it's a quite useful tool in order to chat with the users so hope this video will help you to understand the concept of uh, online chatting being on your pace and help the users. So stay updated with uh, librarian guide for more videos for more updates. Thanks for watching this video.